Are you hoping to buy a new construction Raleigh home on a $400,000 or less budget? Well, if so, I don't wanna really be the bearer of bad news here, but you need to be aware that right now, the median price on a new construction home with a Raleigh address during the spring of 2023 is over $1,000,000. I know it's pretty darn depressing, but don't worry guys, I've got you covered because in today's video, I'm gonna show you what's the absolute most affordable Raleigh suburb to consider if finding the most affordable new construction home is important to you. And we're about to get this party started right now. Hey guys, I'm Michael Sanders with the Mike Sanders team at Remax United in Raleigh, North Carolina, your native Raleigh realtor. If you're considering buying or selling a Raleigh area home, don't make a mistake, get Mike and get moved. Okay guys, if you're in the market for a new construction Raleigh area home and you happen to be on a budget of $400,000 or less, then you're not gonna be finding a ton of home options that come with a Raleigh address. In order to get the home you want, you're probably gonna need to zero in on several of the top Raleigh suburbs like Fuquay Arena, Clayton, and Anger all come to mind. In addition to these suburbs, you're absolutely gonna wanna check out the town of Zebulon. As a matter of fact, as of today, here in the spring of 2023, Zebulon actually has the most amount of new home inventory priced below the $400,000 range of any Raleigh suburb. What's that? You've never heard of Zebulon? Well, it's a small but growing town located in eastern Wake County. It sits between two major U.S. highway routes, U.S. Highway 64 and U.S. Highway 264. The negative here is that traffic can sometimes be somewhat congested during morning and afternoon commutes. However, the positive here is that you're not too far from the I-540 Triangle Expressway, which is typically going to be about a 15 to 20 minute drive from Zebulon. Hey guys, really quick, I would really, really appreciate it if you take half a second and click the like button below. It would really help me and my channel out quite a bit. Secondly, if you'd like a copy of my brand new 54 page triangle area relocation guide, just drop a comment in the comment section below. Zambulin is a smaller community. Up till about 2021, there were less than 8,000 residents in the entire town. Zebulon actually has a really neat downtown area with lots of mom and pop shops and restaurants. There are several large strip shops centers in other areas of the town, one of which has a department store, there's a grocery store in there, there's a couple of other fast food restaurants, and there's some really good dining options as well. Zebulon's also got your typical Walmart anchored shopping center, where it's going to have the Walmart along with some additional restaurants and other small retailers. If retail therapy isn't your thing, then Zebulon's got multiple community parks, one of which, and probably the most prominent, is going to be the Zebulon Community Park. It's located just a few blocks north of downtown. Over there, you're going to find a kid's playground. There's a couple of baseball fields over there. There's an open athletic field with some walking trails. There's multiple outdoor basketball courts. They've even got an 18-hole disc golf course. Like I mentioned, home prices over in Zebulon are going to be amongst the most affordable of any other Raleigh suburb. Taking a quick look at every new construction home available right now in Zebulon, the median sales price is just slightly over $400,000. There are actually 80 brand new homes right now that are included in this data. So if you happen to need something not only affordable, affordable, but also quick, then Zebulon is going to be a great option for you right now. Speaking of affordable, guys, here is the most affordable new construction home that I could find over in Zebulon right now. Check out this Zion model over in Old Place in Zebulon. It's not really old, it's actually brand new. This home isn't huge, it measures just under 1,400 square feet, but look at what you get. Three bedrooms, two and a half baths, with a gorgeous kitchen with granite countertops and stainless steel appliances. There's an open family room with a gas fireplace and engineered hardwood flooring, and there's a kitchen nook with tons of light. It might be the best part of all, you can get all of this on a massive lot that's over a half acre, all for just under $300,000. Think about it like this for a minute. Right now over in Raleigh, the average rent on a three bedroom apartment that's gonna average well under a thousand square feet is gonna cost you over $1,600 a month. Depending on your method of financing, you could probably own something like this with a monthly payment of somewhere in the low $2,000 range. Not a whole lot more than what you'd be throwing away every month to pay somebody else's mortgage. Old Place is just getting started, but it looks like it's gonna be pretty nice. Quite a few of the $65 
five lots over here are going to be on cul-de-sacs, and most of these lots are going to be pretty large. Most of the lot sizes that I've seen over there are at least one half an acre, and some are quite a bit larger than that. The floor plans over here are going to have some spacious open living areas, and most are going to come with two-car garages. You're also going to be able to customize your upgrade options over here in both the owner suite and the kitchen. Plus, over here, you're going to be able to add additional upstairs bedrooms and loft options. From Old Place, it's going to probably take you around 30 to 35 minutes to get into downtown Raleigh. You're also going to be able to get to the I-540 Triangle Expressway in probably 20 to 25 minutes. Located only about 10 minutes from the downtown Zebulon Business District is the Shepherd's Park community. This is going to be a really great location, especially if you want to be close to downtown amenities like shopping, dining, and recreation. You're going to get a slightly more suburban feel in this particular area of Zebulon. If you want to get a better look at it, I shot a prior video of the very first phase of Shepherd's Park a while back. In case you missed it, here's a link if you'd like to check it out. Guys, check out the spacing between the homes over here in Shepherd's Park. It really isn't too bad, especially when you consider the price range. Typically in this price range, you're going to normally see lots that are like this close apart. Most communities that are going to be comparable to Shepherd's Park are going to have lot sizes of around one-fifth to one-fourth of an acre in size, which is more typical of the homes that you're going to see the closer in the downtown Raleigh you get. But what you're giving up in a monster-sized yard, you're getting back in convenience. You're just around the corner over here from the largest shopping center in Zebulon, and you can be on US Highway 64 in less than five minutes from the neighborhood. Curious about what types of homes you can get over in Shepherd's Park? Well, check out this Beacon model by Starlight Homes. This is going to be more of a mid-range home price within the Zebulon new construction market. This is a four bed, two and a half bath home that's got engineered hardwood flooring. There's a really open kitchen family room layout. There's a nice kitchen island with granite countertops and a roomy food pantry. This home is just under 2,100 square feet and sits on a lot that's not really huge. It's just under one fifth of an acre, but I've definitely seen closer spacing between homes that are priced much more expensive than these. Another huge plus for this community is not only are you getting an extremely affordable home, but you're also gonna get full use of this community swimming pool and cabana that's going up, all part of your year $840 HOA fee. All of this for just under $368,000 list price. If you're wanting something super convenient at a really great price that also just happens to be just three minutes down the street from one of the area's top minor league baseball teams, the Carolina Mudcats, who play out a nearby five county stadium, then this community over here at Sydney Creek by DRB Homes might be just up your alley. It's located less than three minutes from the US 264 interchange which is going to get you into downtown Raleigh in about 30 to 35 minutes. The lot sizes in Sydney Creek are typically going to be around one-fifth to one-fourth of an acre. So again, you're not going to get a huge yard. You're not going to be building a driving range between you and your neighbor. But again, this location is much closer to downtown and all of Zebulon's major shopping and amenities. So lot sizes here are going to be smaller than those, just a little bit farther out away from town. Full disclosure here, now there will be homes within the Sydney Creek community that are going to price out well over $400,000. However, there are going to be some really good opportunities right now to get into this community considerably less than $400,000. Take this Bordeaux plan. This is a three bed, two and a half bath home that starts out around 1,754 square feet. Plan can, however, go larger. You can get up to four bedrooms here that's going to measure out around 1,800 square feet. There's some pretty nice options to this design, such as engineered hardwood floors. It's got a pretty open design. It's got a large breakfast and dining area. There's a really spacious kitchen area with granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, and some really nice cabinetry. Over here is the future amenity center where the community swimming pool, play area, and a grueling patio is going to be located. Hey guys, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the Raleigh area and you feel like it might make some sense to get help from someone who's not only sold quite a few Raleigh area homes, but from someone who's also a bona fide Raleigh area native, then definitely give me a call, text, email, I've helped tons of others just like yourself who decided that the smart move was to get Mike and get moved.